वेलकम टू क्विक सॉल्यूशन ऑल इंडिया आकाश टेस्ट सीरीज जेई मेन 2021 टेस्ट थ्री मैथ द टेस्ट वाज हेल्ड ऑन 15 दिसंबर लेट्स स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 51 द कोफिशियंट ऑफ ए क्यूब बी क्यूब सी टू द पावर फाइव डी टू द पावर फोर इन द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ ए बी सी प्लस ए बी डी माइनस सी स्क्वायर डी टू होल पावर फाइव इज सो बाय यूजिंग मल्टी नॉर्मल थियोरम जनरल टर्म फॉर दिस एक्सप्रेशन 5 factorial divided by p factorial q factorial r factorial a b c to whole power p a b d to whole power q and minus c square d to whole power r now from here a to the power p plus q b to the power p plus q c to the power p plus 2r and d to the power Q plus R, and we need a to power three. So P plus Q should be equal to three. Here P plus Q should be equal to three because B to the power three, and P plus two R should be equal to five because we need C to the power five, and Q plus R is equal to four because we need D to the power four. Now by using all these four equation and one main equation, P plus Q plus R should be equal to Five. So from here you can see p plus q is three, so r is equal to two. And when r is two, then p equal to one and q is equal to two. So you can find out coefficient of a cube, b cube, c five, d to the power four is equal to five factorial divided by one factorial. 2 factorial, 2 factorial minus 1 to the power r, that is 2, is equal to 120. 5 factorial is 120 divided by 4 into 1, that is equal to 30. So option number 3 is your correct answer. Now move on next question. Question number 52. The coefficient of x to the power 25 in the expansion of x minus 50 c0. Bracket closed. X minus 50 c2, x minus 50 c4, and so on. X minus 50 c50 is. So you know here this is 50 c0, this is 50 c2, 50 c4. So this is first term, this is second term, this is third term. So this would be your 26th term. So here you have 26 brackets in multiplication. So you will get x to the power 26. Maximum power of x is 26. Then some coefficient let lambda into x to the power 25, and so on. And in the last you will get any Constant term. So see, question is asking coefficient of x to the power 25. That is sum of all roots with negative sign. So we have to find out sum of all roots. So coefficient of x to the power 25 is equal to minus sum of roots. That is 50 c0 plus 50 c2 plus 50 c4 plus up to 50. C fifty, and you know here zero, two, four, and last term is fifty. So its value is directly two to the power fifty minus one. That is equal to minus two to the power forty nine. So your correct answer is option number one. Now move on next question. Question number fifty three. The number of distinct terms in the expansion of one plus three x minus two x square plus x to the power six, and one plus x cube to whole power ten is. So you know number of distinct term in one plus x to the power n is n plus one. So here number of distinct terms in just multiply with every terms with one plus x cube to whole power ten. So one into one plus x cube to whole power ten plus three x one plus x cube to whole power ten. Minus two x square one plus x cube to whole power ten plus x to the power six one plus x cube to whole power ten. Now equal to here number of distinct terms in this expression is n plus one that is ten plus one is eleven plus number of distinct terms in this term you will get every power of x is multiple of three then you will multiply with x so it would be like 1 4 7 so here you will get all the terms distinct so here also number of distinct term is 11 plus similarly here you will get 
distinct terms is 11 plus here you will get number of distinct terms is 11 but in this case you will get x to the power 6 1 plus x cube x plus x to the power some co coefficient here but I am talking about only x to the powers 6 and so on x to the power 30 so here you will get x to the power 6 x to the power 9 x to the power 12 x to the power 15 x to the power 18 x to the power 21 x to the power 24 x to the power 27 x to the power 30 and so on x to the power 33 but these all terms you have received here when you expand it you will get x to the power 6 9 12 and up to 30 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 terms are repeating in this case so just subtract 9 here so these all terms are distinct terms so just calculate it this is 44 minus 9 that is equal to 35 so correct answer is your option number 3 Question number 54. The coefficient of middle term in the expansion of 2 plus x to whole power 2n is. So, 2n. 2n number is an even number. So, middle term is 2n by 2 plus 1. That is equal to 2tn plus 1. That is equal to 2n cn. 2 to the power 2n minus n and x to the power n. Just calculate it. 2n cn 2 to the power n x to the power n. Question is asking coefficient of middle term. So, coefficient of middle term is 2n cn 2 to the power n. Just check on your options. 2n cn 2 to the power n plus 1. This is incorrect. 2n minus 1 cn 2n plus 1 cn 2n minus 1 cn minus 1. So, we have to convert it into 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1 in form. So, just write down 2n factorial, n factorial, n factorial, 2 to the power n. So, just write down 2n factorial as 2n into 2n minus 1 factorial, n as n into n minus 1 factorial, n factorial, 2 to the power n. So, see you are getting 2 here and this value is 2n minus 1 cn. So, you are getting 2n minus 1 cn to the power n plus 1. Now check on your options. So option number 2 is your correct answer and you can check option number 3 and option number 4. Option number 4 is incorrect and option number 3. Here you have 2n plus 1 and here you have 2n minus 1 cn and in this option you have 2n plus 1 cn. So this option is also incorrect. So option number 2 is your correct answer. Now move on next question. Question number 55. The number of 6 digit numbers that can be formed by using 1, 3, 5 and 7 such that in every number each digit is used at least once. So we have to find out the number of 6 digit numbers that can be found by using 1357. So we have only 4 digit 1357 and we have to frame 6 digit number. So case 1 when exactly 1 digit is repeating. So, just choose any one digit. So, 4C1 multiply. For framing 6 digit number, we will get 3 digit same and 3 would be distinct. So, 6 factorial divide by 3 factorial. Just calculate it. It is 4 into 6 into 5 into 4 which is equal to 480. Now, case 2. When exactly... Two digits are repeating. So we have four digits. Just choose any two digits, and both digits are repeating. So six factorial divide by two factorial, two factorial. That is equal to four into three divide by two into seven twenty divide by four. So that is equal to one zero eight zero. So total number of 6 digit numbers is equal to 1080 plus 
480 that is equal to 0651 1560 so option number 1 is your correct answer now move on next question